Good evening. So tonight we're going to talk about the Fen Dogman photos, or Fen Werewolf photos. I linked below in the description an article talking about the Fen area, and uh, it's got some history and lore of the area about how they do have these Dogman sightings, or werewolves, or whatever you want to call them. And for the new people and people who clicked on this, uh, as fantastical as it seems, as outrageous as it is, as maybe hard to believe that there's even a Bigfoot creature, many people all across the United States and Mexico and Canada and all across the world and even in Europe and all around the place have this phenomenon where they see an upright walking canine and it looks a lot like what you would see a werewolf in a movie. And this certainly, the pictures of this creature you're seeing here, uh, certainly fit that description. And there's a little bit of a story to it. Uh, like I said, the article below outlines it. I believe these photos are from 2010, the best I could track down uh, somewhere in that time frame. And I think I vaguely remember these photos from you know, about a year and a half back coming across them, getting kind of excited about them. Then somebody else saying, oh, no, they were a fake. And But I've had a number of people recently bring it back up to me and send them to me and wanted to get my opinion. And... That's great. I'll give you guys my opinion and let you know what I think's going on. But I'm not Bigfoot Tony. He's great at this stuff. I'm not Thinker Thunker. I'm not one of those breakdown analyzation videos. Um, for Sasquatch, I, I, I know from looking at the Patty film and quite a bit other things, uh, looking for human and non-human proportions, the way they walk, their flat-footedness, the, uh, the locomotion of those creatures, and, you know, also some other things to determine if it's a guy in a suit, if there's been any kind of digital manipulation. Uh, so a lot of that, you know, doesn't really apply to these werewolf dogman creature phenomenon that people are seeing because they are fairly commonly seen and most people are very terrified when they see them because, you know, the whole concept of an upright walking dog doesn't make any sense versus like a Bigfoot that tends to make sense because, you know, we're an upright walking great ape species ourselves, humans. So, there's a, a lot of varying reports. Also, I wanted to put these pictures up right away and show you. There's, I think, three different photos here. One blurry, one from a good angle, one from a bad angle. We've got some other ones here where I think they, uh, where they uh, increased the exposure and they uh, did like a, what is called when you reverse it, where you make the light dark and a dark light. Um, like I said, I'm not a photographer or an expert on this stuff. And uh, to me... One thing that strikes me is one or two of these photos is so clear, such a good look at what's going on, that it's almost like it's too good to be true. And that kind of raises some red flags with me. The other thing is the top half doesn't seem to really match the bottom half as well. The top half seems kind of light and fluffy, and the bottom half seems to kind of just fade down to nothing. And it's almost like the top half was part of a suit and the bottom half might have been digitally touched up or, or manipulated. Or if it is a real creature, that's just the way that this thing is built. I don't know. I've heard lots of reports. I've had people come to me in tears. Um, I 100% believe them. I've had people trembling, shaking, telling me with fear in their eyes about their dogman encounter. So I believe that people are really seeing something around the world. But is this a photo of one? I don't know. I'm not 100% convinced. Here's one of those, uh, you know, where they change the exposure on it photo to kind of show you what's going on. Uh, one of the things that strikes me is that it very well could be a man in a suit because the proportions look enough from the paws to the elbow to where the shoulders are. Uh, obviously, shoulder pads built up to make the shoulders look tall and huge. Uh, but it very well could be a guy in a suit. It also does look like there is some muscle definition there, so I think you could make a cause for this being an actual creature. Uh, too bad it's not an actual video as opposed to just, just these stills, because I'd love to see the way it was moving in its gait. Because um, if you ask me to put on a werewolf costume, uh, walk on the ball of my feet, not on my heels like this guy or this thing's doing, hunch my legs at a pretty good angle, stick my rear end out, hunch forward, and have my arms in the air in that kind of a strange, almost kind of like tiptoe sneaking position, and walk through the middle of the night in a dogman costume I'm probably not seeing too well out of. Um, me personally, my wife's going to laugh, I'd probably trip over some stuff, and I'd probably blunder it pretty bad. So, I don't know, unless they're set up hoaxed, or, you know, the guy put it on, said, okay, you're on camera, and he took like 10 steps. 
Um, and that's not to say the guy who caught these on a security camera. Apparently, that's the story. This guy, these things, he was finding weird footprints all over his farm. He was having uh, cattle mutilation problems. And one of his security cameras picked up this creature. And uh, I will say they looks like they got the shadow pretty good there. Um, you know, certainly frightening like we're saying. But to me, the feet look so much different than the top. And if you look how narrow the ankles get, and you see it riding on the ball of its toe, uh, you know, it's very odd. It almost looks like the bottom, like they touched it up digitally or did some editing to it. Or maybe it's just the way the light is, and it is a real creature. Uh, but I think I would have a hard time maintaining this pose in this costume and walking through it if it was. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm leaning towards this as some kind of a hoax. And like I was going to say, it's not so much that the, the farmer, the guy that took these pictures, is a hoaxer. It could be more along the lines of he was being hoaxed. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about something else that struck me with this film, or these photos, I should say. So one of the things that comes up a lot in Dogman reports and people I've talked to is they said it was like an upright walking dog. And by that meaning that um, it had more of a dog's like anatomy on the bottom with um, walking on the ball of its feet, which is, you know, on your toes. I believe the term is digigrade, not plantigrade like us. Having that extended forepaw, you know how dogs have that long you know, they're walking on their toes and they have that long paw that almost acts like a forward going knee, like another hinge point, and, um, or like a backward flowing knee, like, an, like another hinge point, and, uh, they've got that dew claw up there. It, you know, it's kind of like a stretched out version of a general, uh, mammalian type foot. And a lot of people report Dogman as having that kind of a foot structure, something very close to like, what a dog would be if it was standing upright and then the the shoulders being much broader the chest being bigger um all, all that kind of stuff although there are some reports people report a dog man where it looked just like a 400 pound wolf walking on its hind legs not any out of proportion than a normal dog trying to stand up and if you've ever seen a dog maybe go up on two feet or you know stand on the counter or something like that you, you kind of know what i'm talking about here and the subjects in these um fen werewolf pictures because that's kind of what they're known as on the internet werewolf dog man whatever you want to call them uh, seems to have very human-like feet like i said it does seem to narrow quite a bit coming down to the ankle and the bottom seems to have some kind of some kind of touch-up or something done to him, but I could be completely wrong. And um, like I was saying, the, the whole concept of an upright walking dog, um, a werewolf type creature, well, if you look back through history, I think it's like cythocephalies or some kind of a term for it. I know I totally butchered that word. Um, it means dog-headed men. And if you look at uh, depictions of St. Christopher and you look even uh, reported members of the Knights Templar, there were men, great warriors, but they had the head of a dog. And I'm sure some of you guys are going Anubis right now in the Egyptian religions and ancient Egyptians. Yes, that's a very good um, representation. All the way um, through, through the Native Americans, especially here in the United States where I are, they have a, especially in the south and along the border, they've got a history of these things being here a long time much like bigfoot uh, i also know down um, south of the border in mexico and um, central american countries they have a long history of the devil dogs and um, they basically they run in packs and they're like an upright walking werewolf and they're very ferocious and there's stories like the siege of locket ranch and um uh you know different sightings all, all throughout the united states now I, i've heard of them you know the the going as far up as Wyoming, and then you got to look at the Michigan Dog Man, and then um, um, the Beast of Bray Road, and all those areas, and in Ohio, and all through the Midwest, and those different areas. A lot of reports of Dog Man, and going all the way down south to the legends of the Rougarou. Um, so it's not a new phenomenon. It's kind of lesser known, and for a lot of people, um, you know, you think of Bigfoot, but people are seeing these dog creatures. I don't know what to make of it. Um, I do believe people, when they see that they're saying them, they scare me. As far as these photos, I'm leaning towards they're a hoax just because they're almost too good and too clear. And I think I remember reading a while back they're a hoax, but even if I take that out, um, they're certainly frightening. They're certainly creepy. If someone had a costume and went in front of one of my cameras with this thing, I would, you know, 
It would really keep me up at night. It's very scary, frightening photos. If you guys have any more information about these photos, please leave a link in the comments below. Let me know what you think in the comment. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Thank you very much, and stay safe in the woods, folks.